All right, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Gene Forge 2. Here on my channel, Idolist. We're here again in Madab. It's been a bit since I've recorded this. I have been actually pretty a combination of both really busy at work and then and then I got quite sick. I had posted a message on my community tab. Uh, yeah, I got really sick, and I'm now I'm, I'm starting to get better, which is good. Boy. Let's see, what do we, last time we finished defeating the last the, of the, what do you call them, the, the bandits in, in the Warren of the Three, High Vizedra and Echo Blade, yeah, got a bunch of loot, we wound up losing one of our creations on the way out, because it, Stupid thing walked over a mine, which is unfortunate for it. So we'll have to shape another Cryoa. And we need to go back there and just pick up a few, uh, you know, odds and ends. We have a bunch of stuff to sell, too. Silver ring, okay, ring of the eye, two fan bracelet. Let's actually drop some of these living tools. Alright, cool. All right, let's go. Um, let's put on the no, not really, two fang bracelet, and let's go to shape. Cryoa plus two points of intelligence. Maybe I should give it three because last one was pretty stupid. Ooh. Alrighty, there we are. Put our gloves back on. Now, we have another cryo. I don't know what we're going to call this one. We'll fi figure it out. See if it lasts more than two seconds. We have a bunch of stuff to do here in Madab before we go. We need to go back to the Warren of the Three. There's still some stuff to pick up on the ground. We were out of carry space entirely. Not just carry weight, but carry space. So let's sell the shaper equipment we got. Bam, sis, son. Huh? 30 coins for, I think we had 5 of them, so that's a hundred, a quick 150 coins. Not bad at all. Let's go up here. Is this the Medab? No, it's Zion, the alchemist. Yes. Medab merchant. Let's sell. They have some money. So let's sell this silver ring. A jeweled wand. Discipline wand. This cloth. This golden goblet. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, we have an emerald. We can sell it to Hawk. We can sell it to this guy too. But like I said. But that's cool. All right. Good deal. Oh, we can buy some living tools off him for a pretty decent price. Pretty average. All right. Cool. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Alrighty, well, let's get on with it. Let's look at our... Kill the bandit leaders. Griffith, okay. The commander in Chirola would like you like it if you killed the three leaders of a bandit fort to the southwest. Echo Blade, Korn, and High Vizedra. Let's go report in it to Griffith. And let's go visit Hawk, too, so we can get rid of this emerald out of our inventory and open up some space. So let's go to Triola. And I think Griffith is right here. So let's make our way down here. Commander Griffith, we did some work for you. Did your dirty work. All right. Oh, I guess we could have reported it in bit by bit. I have killed Echo Blade. I'm glad to hear it. The way can say we should pay for any help we get, so here, he hands you a pouch of coins. I have killed Korn. One less crazy servile in the world, glad to hear it. The way can say we should pay for any help we get, so here, heavy pouch of coins. I have killed the Zedra. That is very good news. The Zedra was the nastiest and smartest of the lot. I didn't think I'd hear of her death anytime soon. And he leaves and returns with a belt. This is shape of work, worthy garb for a warrior. He hands it to you. 
That should be it. Those miserable brigands aren't a problem anymore, and that will make it much easier to defend this miserable little town. Alrighty. Well, thanks, dude. And we got a level, too. And we got... Okay, cool. What did we get? A shaped belt. We have the girdle of insight. That's a, a decent belt. We maybe will get to use it for some recipe that somebody somebody needs to give us make us a new uh, a high powered item. Who knows? Who knows? But that's good. Cool. So now let's go to Fort Muck. Cause we need to find what's his face, Hawk. Not Hawk the Slayer, but just Hawk the Merchant, the Fleet Footed Gem Merchant. Ah, here you are. Sell emeralds. Emeralds! There's 80 more coins. Alrighty. Cool. Go out of here, and let's go back to the Warren of the Three. Because we need to continue our looking about. Ah, you see right there? Those three mines blew up because one of our creations... One of our cryoas walked into him like a dum dum. Ugh. Gotta be careful. Okay. Alrighty. So here we are. We had some stuff over here that we had dropped. Let's see, let's take the mine crystal. Yeah. Wild Adventure will take it, I guess. I don't think it's very important. Of course, what's his face? What's his name? Xander, that's right. Xander's like, what are you talking about? That book is great. It's about Wild Adventure. Like what we're having. I guess so. I guess so. Jeez. So this is the area where Corn the priest, was... We defeated him first, but then we didn't explore the rest of this area. I think the altar was nothing magical. Yeah, exactly. But what's over here? Hmm. Some cupboards. Some money. Just a tunic. Oh, some healing spores. Some useless tools. Oh, some curing spores, those are always good. Iron sword, it'll take that. Venom thorns, yeah, icy crystals. Yeah, we'll take them. For now. Alright, there's a couple more ways to go. Let's actually save. But yeah, oh man, was I sick. It's horrible. My chest still kind of hurts from coffee. Still kind of like bleh, stuffy. Whoop! A prisoner was left in this cell to starve. That's pleasant. What a bunch of jerks. What a bunch of punk ass. That's messed up. Uh oh. Oh, that's right. Brr. Okay, we have another. Hmm. Conundrum time conundrum time. This is another one of the... Let's talk to him. A huge roamer. There's a huge roamer in this cell. The floor is littered with bones of its food. It has been imprisoned here by the cultists, awaiting some unpleasant fate. The creature has already been repeatedly whipped and burnt. What the hell? The imprisonment has broken the creature's spirit. When you enter, it walks shyly up to you. It rubs its massive, leathery head, leathery head against your hand, then it looks up at you. The Shapers have spent many years breeding mindless obedience to your kind into these creatures. At this moment, you're very happy about it. Jeez Louise. Alright, well, my stupid computer booted me out of my game just so it could tell me is so just so it could tell me that I could protect two more devices using my you know security software. It's like the hell are you doing interrupting me, fool? 
Anyways, so just kidding. Well, no, not really. That's, that's annoying. But fortunately, it didn't cancel the recording. It stopped it, but it, the recording was okay. So, so we can say, why have the serviles imprisoned you here, Romer? Or, poor thing, let me put you out of your misery. Or, Romer, come with me and serve me. I will protect you. Try to get the Romer to go free or leave it alone. Now, this is one of the companion creatures. We could take it with us. The good thing about this one is that it's ranged. AI Romers are a lot better than, um, what do you call it? I think, you know, player controlled roamers. Should we take it? I mean, maybe Lucian feels sorry for it. He and Xander are like, oh man, this sucks. Why have they imprisoned you here, Romer? Romers are loyal and fierce, but they're not smart. It just looks up, it looks up at you baffled. Oh, poor, he's like been abused. And he's so abused that He's, his spirit's been broken, but because he's been he's a he's a good rover, he's still friendly to the shapers. Let's see. Why don't you come with me and serve me? I'll protect you. I'll probably regret this, but let's try it. Though it doesn't understand your words, the meaning of your movements is clear. It starts to follow you, reaches the door of its cell, and then stops. It is terrified of leaving, afraid of what will happen to it out there. Fortunately, you are very commanding. You manage to coax it out of the cell, and it joins you. Yay! Alrighty. Well, there we go. Huge roamer. It's level 20. He's got a lot of hit points. He's got 182. Jeez Louise, he's level 20, just like Frostfang. Huh. Wow. Alrighty. We'll have to rename him at some point. Think of a name for him. He's a rescue creation. Jeez Louise. Well, hopefully I don't regret that. <laughs> Let's see what these books have. Any, any magic? This book contains a huge list of chants, mantras, and songs. Meant to be muttered by the servants for hours and hours straight. They are all scrawled here in a crude, barely literate hand. It's fascinating stuff. Somehow, some of the serval cultists manage to stumble on a way of teaching themselves magic. This involves crushing this cr uh, it involves this crushing litany of meditative and focusing devices. Apparently the servals can learn magic without any sort of shaping or alteration. They merely have to drive themselves mad to do it. It's an old spell book. Uh oh. It's stained and worn and shows signs of being carried a long way, and you flip through it quickly and learn what you can from it. The spell it describes is powerful and simple. You learn a lot about the terror spell. Uh oh. Oh no, we got terror level 3! Excellent! You remember, you can't purchase level 3, so if you learn level one or two from a trainer or from a book like this you'll never be able to get the third level in this game by purchase because of a, a glitch in this game but you know whatever that doesn't matter because we got it level three there level three of terror overwhelms a single unit a single enemy with fear it will run away for a short time Excellent. that's cool Alright, cool. Let's take a look at our stats, though. We have six points. <clears throat> what to do? I think last time we increased mechanics. That's right, we did. I'm trying to think what we should do this time. I mean, we could increase Blessing Magic, and then wait, and then next level increase Intelligence again. That might be a good idea. Let's do that actually. Although, increasing leadership one more time 
and then being done with it basically might be a good idea too. Hmm. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's like kind of like annoying, but you know, it's a good idea. There we are. That will probably that will probably be all we'll need to do with that. Now I know there is like this over here. In what's his face? Is Echo Blade's room? That we didn't go through, but it's guarded by mines, and I don't know what to do with them. I wonder if we even need to do that. Hmm. Let's just go right here first. We will save our game right quick. Right quick. And then go on. We now have a full party. I should call this rover. Hmm. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right, there was a... What is it called? Uh, uh, canister in here. Oh, we're not taking canisters. We're not canister junkies. Alright, let's see. He has 214 hit points. I'm gonna save the game again. I'm gonna be like, okay, so Xander, buddy, you and I are the only rational creatures here. That means you and I are the only ones who can responsibly. That's battle magic. Let's do essence shield on Xander. Essence shield on Lucian. Now let's have Lucian move away. Now let's actually. I'm going to try seeing if Xander can survive touching a mine while he's boosted up and what have you. Just you. Okay, he did. So, now let's heal him up. You and I are the only ones who... It's not good to send creations, normal creations, to do this, because... Very good! Great work, buddy! Because, see, he has 214 hit points. Lucian, on the other hand, let's see, has 29. So, not very good. But, we could put a shield, you know, p power him up so that he was not barely affected. He's barely affected by those mines. That's great. So, let's actually save again. Thanks a lot, partner. He's like, yeah. Let us... Actually, let's bring everybody in case there's some bad guys right around the corner. Oh, jeez. There's another mine right there. Alright, let's... Alright, Xander. Just take it like a servile. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Sorry. He's like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, let's see what we got. 250 coins, that's pretty good. Ooh, seven gemstones, that's nice. And, oh my gosh, five emeralds. Man, that was a freaking treasure trove. A veritable treasure trove. Well, thanks, Xander. You are definitely the MVP right now. There, he's all healed up. So now, <clears throat> we can leave this stupid place and never come back. We ought to be careful that we don't have a repeat of last time and have one of our creations run over that minefield right here. So let's just, right here, everybody, this way. This way. Alrighty. 
Very good. So let's go back to what? Fort Muck? Yes. And we just got a bunch of gemstones and emeralds, which are gemstones, but you know, they are specifically emeralds. Hawk, we like literally scored. He's like, all righty, 20 coins each. He's like, oh yeah, 80 coins each. So we just made a ton of money. Let's go see if we can find squeakers and say hi. We have some food for him. Oh, there he is. It still stares at you sadly. I'm sorry, buddy. Here you are. There's another piece of, what do you call it, food for you. So now let's go back to Madab. We are now done with the Warren of the Three. Excellent. So now we can go and sell some of this stuff that we got. Some of it's just garbage. Some of it's good. <clears throat> Let's see. There's the, the, the smithy. Anything that can we sell? Still here, or have we used up all their money? And they have a little bit. Here, let's sell this iron sword. The shape belt, we'll keep the shape belt for now. Mine, Chris, I don't remember if that's worth anything. Wild Adventure, I cannot remember. We'll just keep these gems for now. Unless, yeah, I don't know. For now. No, we're good, dude. Thanks. We'll drop Wild Adventure and the Shape Build off at our on our pad. <laughs> Let's see. Lucy can go in there. Shape Belt. Wild Adventure. Mine crystal. Alrighty. Yeah, 60 out of 66. At some point, we're going to have to put a point into strength. Because that's. It would really help our carry limit. Alrighty. Well, that's good. So now we have a pretty decent party. Three claw bugs. Two Krayowas, a huge roamer, a servile magician, and Lucian. And we've pretty much taken care of everything there is to do over in this part of the world. Looking at what we're going to do next. Let's just head outside so you can look at the map. Yeah, we've pretty much taken care of everything. Now, there's still stuff over here. Not crystal mine, but that's for later. And there's this over here, the Pit of the Bound, but that's, again, for later. Now, this is the Northern Pass into Taker Lands. That's a dangerous, dangerous area. Here's the Crystal Caverns over in the Dry Peak area. That's it, where that Mad Drake, uh, Cryo Drake was. There's also Claw Bug Canyon. And the Experimental Valley. This is heading towards Barzite lands. This is a very dangerous, these are dangerous areas as well, but I think this is more where we're probably needing to go. We might want to stop by Sharon's Grove. See if we can't do another round of her gauntlet, but I don't think we probably can actually. That's a pretty dangerous encounter, the next one. Hmm. I think we'll actually just chill for today. Next time we will head to either the Experimental Valley or Claw Bug Canyon. Both of those are dangerous in their own way. Claw Bug Canyon has a lot of claw bugs, as you might you know, as you might be able to guess. 
It's a combat heavy area. And then Experimental Valley is a place with tons of horrible mines or acid acid spewers. It's, it's terrible, but there's a lot of experience to be gained there if you're competent with your mechanics. But I want to say <clears throat> on that note, thank you for joining me for this episode of my Let's Play of Gene Forge 2. Here in my channel, Idle Wisdom. I'm sorry for having been quiet for a while. I was like, ugh, could not really record anything. I was like, just a, a mess. And so I'm, I'm starting to do better. So hopefully I'll start to post videos up again more frequently. And I hope you're all having a good time and have a good holiday season. So take care, y'all.